Welcome to Laguna Seca, everybody. It's Saturday here, Monterey Car Week. Uh, we've got the Rolex Historic Racing today. Uh, there's some incredible cars in the paddock and on the track. We're gonna check as much of it as we can for you guys and get some great footage. It's gonna be an awesome day here. Okay, guys, this is crazy. We've got a, we stumbled upon a photo shoot here on Laguna Seca. Um, Kind of hard to get any closer than this at the moment, but you can see some crazy cars like Delta, Nissan Delta wing, an old Chaparral back there with that huge wing. Pino's Esperante. 3 liter CSL BMW. It's 250 GT on the other side. I'm just gonna pan up over the fence here so we can try and get as good a look at this as we can. You guys, excuse the fence, but this is again as close as I can get. We cross the bridge, get a little bit better of a view here of the cars. Uh, I would say there's there's got to be about a billion dollars worth of cars sitting here. Seriously, I mean, like that old blower up front, 300 SL race car, the D type 250 Testarossa, 250 LM. We've got the here we go, the GT40. That I believe that is the 1966 Le Mans winning car. 935, Audi R10, 962. Yeah, this this is crazy, guys. What a find here. <laughs> and our newest find, we have about a hundred million dollars worth of Ferrari here, and it's only between two cars. We've got the classic 250 GTO, we all know and love and the 250 Testarossa over here. Uh, yeah, this, I'm gonna say about a combined 100 mil here, just sitting by themselves in the paddock at Laguna. It's just, it's just crazy. more here. We've got the Mark IV Ford GT40, a winner of Le Mans as well. I um, believe 1967. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you guys might be able to guess by the silhouette under the cover. We have a 917K. This to me looks like the Porsche RS Spider under here. Um, just over there actually we have go the GTLM 4 GT this looks like it's get, getting ready to be unloaded then over here remember we spotted that um, GT3 996 cup car on the streets in Carmel with that flying lizard paint job well here are the actual flying lizard racing cars one of the all-time legendary GT teams from America so there's the special art car livery, and there is the classic Flying Lizard livery right there. Oh, that is so cool to see these cars in the open.
Okay guys, now the photo shoot has ended and the pandemonium of the cars coming back is ended. We can get a little look at these cars. So we've got the 356 Super Light with the wheel covers over there. One of the first ever Porsche race cars actually. That's super cool to see. Over here we have the 300 SL, the Ulanot Coupe. So this is the first generation 300 SL before the famed Gullwing. Um, this is actually the racing version of it. So that is super cool, extremely, extremely rare. And speaking of rare here, we've got one of the all-time legends of Le Mans here, the Jaguar D-Type. Just a crazy looking car. Obviously that huge fin behind the headrest is iconic. It's an iconic silhouette here at the D-Type. Double up on the Ferrari 250 GTOs now. Still cars getting moved around, so it's still very loud. Nobody's complaining though. But there we go. Pretty remarkable to see two of these things side by side. Okay. And we've doubled up over here too on the GT40s. Still got the Golf one here. And now we've got the 1966 Mondrian livery right here. Personal favorite one. Um, obviously, the one that Bruce McLaren drove to the win. I'm sure, everybody's seen Ford versus Ferrari by now. There we go, another two, another iconic car that's just two of them sitting together casually here at Laguna. So now that some of the dust is clear, guys, do another quick walkthrough of the billion dollar Le Mans display, the photo shoot that we saw on track. I have talked about these cars in detail already. So, well, most of them I have. So for now, I'm just gonna walk through and let you guys just enjoy the sounds and the sights. This, this is really special. Um, big shout out to the guys working here in the Mazda 10 who have, who have allowed us to come back here and look at these incredible cars. We've got here the Mazda 767, the iconic green and orange Renown paint scheme. That's amazing. And then over here in the white and blue Mazda Speed paint scheme, Getting a lot of work done, getting prepped for the Rolex Premium. We have the legendary Mazda 787 in the flesh. That is incredible to see these cars. It's a little raw inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yep, it's pretty bare bones, but. Hey guys, we are at the BMW Hospitality Tent here. They've got an incredible display. We've got the M8 GTLM. Over here we have the BMW M1 Pro Car. And then we've got the crazy looking 3 liter CSL Group 5 racer. Right next to that is two very special cars as well. Let's go check those out. Here we go guys. This is the McLaren F1 GTR, the classic BMW Motorsport Fina livery. center seat position this has to be the greatest car ever built in my opinion everything about it is just too amazing it's wins first Le Mans wins Le Mans in his first time out it just doesn't get any better than this guys let's have a quick look at the back if we can just amazing what a car Super classy looking car. Then over here, instant classics. Ferrari 365 GTB4 Competizione, the NART racing team. Right next to it, that old Boss Mustang 302 Trans Am car. Incredible Momo Porsche 935 here too. Here we go, Nicky Lauda, Ferrari Formula One car. Just getting the top put back on casually here in the paddock. How many hours do you think we're on that motor? Crazy guys.
We just climbed the hill here at Laguna Sega to the top, top of the corkscrew where we're going to be seeing the Gordon Murray T50 lapping through the legendary corkscrew corner. Just want to give you guys a look at the view here as some Audi RS e-trons are on track. It's probably the greatest view I've seen at any racetrack. Laguna Seca is breathtaking guys. Music, fun in the paddock, also feature a collection of the Pagani hypercars we were talking about. Really a new fun way to wind down Monterey Car Week. Alright everybody, coming down out of the pits there, in the distance we can see the 1972 to 1982 Le Mans cars coming out for their race. So, things like the Porsche 935 will be out there. Uh, this is going to be wicked, so we'll get some good footage coming here. Here comes the Le Mans Legends display cars on the demo laps. Here comes the classic Le Mans race that we've all been waiting for.
we just have to do an Aseka. And uh, we're actually, we got a pass for our arm auctions here. So we're going to go inside and see what we can see, see what's being auctioned off, and uh, see what kind of footage I can get for you guys. Check it out, guys. I know this is my signature line now, but uh, I don't really know what else to say for this. This is the silver F1 HDK that is on display here at the RM Auction House. Uh, a couple of unique features about this one. This is the only McLaren F1 that has these sort of slanted or squinty headlights, I guess you could call it, where the top half of the headlights are actually covered. That's a unique feature of this F1 HDK. Uh, silver exterior we've got the black and red interior it looks so so good um, this is up for private auction so i don't know if they'll actually roll this onto the auction block so but definitely stay tuned and keep your eyes on the air to see how much thing how much this thing sells for you guys have a rough idea what you might think it go for put it down in the comments below um i guess i'll start my guess at 25 million for this f1 hdk but yeah let me know what you guys think Hey guys, this is the scene for me inside the RM auction. It is a madhouse here. We currently have a 1954 Ferrari 375 America Cabrio. It's currently at $6.8 million for sale. So, pretty crazy. Yeah? 497 horsepower and 400 and Sally Carrera, this literally just sold here at RM Auction for 3.6 million USD. Insane, guys. The bidding war was crazy. And here she goes. There's Sally, the Cars Tribute Special, one of one, 911. Alright guys, and it wouldn't be a car week auction if there wasn't a Koenigsegg parked outside on the street outside the auction. Pretty cool. CCX. 